Hello students. So in the last class we have completed 3.3 that is artificial sunflower. So I told you that I'm going to show you a small video of uh, my interpretation of a real time circuit right. So I was going and I was looking for it but I realized that I didn't put a sunflower but I actually put a small aluminium foil but you will see that whenever I'm changing the direction of my light from left to right this automatically moves but in fact i was not at all focusing the light on the aluminium foil but there is a photoresistor that is connected to the breadboard and the arduino board so on the arduino and on the breadboard there is a photoresistor so whenever i'm moving the light the resistance is actually changing the value of the resistance is actually changing because it's a variable photoresistor and that signal is sent to the breadboard uh, from the breadboard that signal is sent to the arduino and arduino is controlling the servo motor and an aluminium foil is just attached to the servo motor and it, it actually creates an illusion that it is moving with the light something which is very similar to our sunflower so this is what I wanted to show you in the last class. Now let us focus on IR sensor or infrared sensor. So if you go to electromagnetic spectrum, excuse me guys, let me open an image which has an electromagnetic spectrum so you should be able to see this image okay looks like it is um, blocked but what I wanted to show you is so this is visible light right next to visible light you have infrared so the rays that have lesser than the wavelength of these waves which are less than red color which is 380 nanometers comes under infrared our eyes cannot comprehend this light or cannot see this light but we use this in many applications and one of those applications is in your remote control so today we are going to see what exactly is infrared sensor is and how we use it in a remote the circuit and the code are super simple for this project but it's just that I want you guys to understand the impact or the applications of the applications of um, IR sensor are huge Okay, so let us go to Tinkercad. I want you guys to create a new circuit. Name it as 3.4 IR sensors or infrared sensors. This is, I would say that this is one of the easiest circuits that we are going to build. I'll just keep it this way but horizontal and then have it right above it and look for IR sensor so this is an IR sensor it has out it has ground it has power so connect it anywhere you want I would connect it somewhere over here so out ground and power so you know that i can take five volts i'll change the color to red color just give me a minute and ground is going to be black i'm going to connect it over here okay first i'm going to change it to black the green color to red so 5 volts is positive and negative so out is a signal that is going to let's say we are going to use digital pin 9 or 10 it doesn't matter you can use any pin that you want 
so i'm going to connect this from digital pen to let's say 10 okay and this is ground so i'm going to take the black color and connect the ground to ground and i'm going to take the red color and connect to 5 volts this is an electron electronic component it needs 5 volts to actually work but whatever signal that this is receiving from a remote because you are going to I, as i told you ir sensors are mostly used in remotes right so you would also need a you would also need a remote so ir remote so most of our TVs have numbers and a lot of bunch of other buttons, right? So this is very similar. Whenever I'm clicking a button, so this IR is going to receive an, a signal or an hexadecimal number. So that is what we are going to see. Okay, so go to the code part, delete everything. Yes, and the circuit is all is done. So it is very simple. So out goes to digital pin 9 or 10 whichever pin that you are going to work with and there's ground there is power so that's all you need now let me write down the code i'm gonna put it over here so you can see the whole entire code so the output in this project right you're going to use something called serial monitor whenever you click a button so you need to see some kind of signal that is going or being received by this IR receiver. So if this this remote is a transmitter. It is going to transmit a signal. This IR sensor is a receiver which is going to receive a signal. And once it receives the signal, it is going to send it to Adreno. And we can connect. We are connecting the serial monitor. We are enabling the serial monitor of Adreno to see whether we are receiving a signal at infrared sensor or not. So let's say you want to change a channel or you want to play or pause a music video. So whenever you press a button on your remote, you are actually sending a signal to an IR sensor which is connected to your, which is inside your television. And once it receives the signal, it is going to operate in a way that you desire. Okay, so for example, if you want to go switch the song, you go to the next song or you go to the previous song or you pause, you play. So any of these buttons on the remote is associated with a particular signal that an IR sensor can read it and send it to your television okay so in this pro in this project instead of using a television we are just using a microcontroller which is an Arduino so now let us write the code I'm going to include hash include this time I'm going to include a library called IR remote dot h in the previous one, I included a um, library called MyServo, right, or servo.h. So this time, I'm going to include irremote.h. So that is my library. I'm going to initialize receiver pin. Can you tell me which pin is it connected to? We connected to digital pin 10. So that is ir receiver pin 10. Okay, then I R receive. I'm going to write it in small letters again. I R R E C V. I'm going to create a new variable. So that's what I'm doing. And from receive pin, whatever value I'm getting, I'm going to save it in I R receive. IR is infrared, RECV is a short form for receive. Okay. And then close the statement and then decode underscore results. This is a statement in uh, C++ and whatever results have been decoded, I'm going to save it in a new variable called results. Okay. That's what I'm writing. Now I'm going to start my my function void setup. Whenever I do void setup, I need to open parentheses. So as I told you, the serial monitor is there, right? So and to to enable the serial monitor, this is what I'm going to write: serial dot begin 
9600 serial dot begin 9600 serial dot print ln not this is not one okay this is l i'm gonna print enabling ir pin and then once you receive ir receive enable ir pin oh it's not pin ir pin enable ir in then open and close the parentheses then you're going to write the exact same thing whatever you wrote in line number eight but you're going to modify a little bit instead of enabling now it is enabled right you're going to write enabled ir pin and then you're going to close your parentheses with this you have kind of created a function where you are going to operate the serial monitor and let the viewers or whoever is pressing the, pressing the remote know that first initially we are going to enable the IR pin and once we get a confirmation once the IR pin is ready to use we are going to create that the pin is enabled we are going to print that the pin is enabled then you're going to create a void loop open and close parentheses and then open the function if you're going to create an if function if i r r receive dot decode at the rate or sorry not at the rate at the location of results and then open parentheses serial dot print ln we are going to just print the value results dot value in descending order i r receive dot resume then create a small delay for let's say one point one second or um, one millisecond so i'm going to create a small delay and then close the parenthesis with this your code is done let us check if we got everything right okay so this is what i got it wrong in line number nine so let me check what the mistake is class ir has no member named enable ir in did you mean enable ir in yeah this is what i meant okay let me copy this and then enable ir in oh there is p here so there's a small mistake that i did okay start the simulation and i think it should work now now i'm going to click the serial monitor first we got this enabling ir pin because we entered it over here now the pin is enabled so I got the enabled IR pin. So whenever I click a button, you get the signal, whatever signal is sent, you get it over here. So let's say I want to play and pause. You see, whenever I click a button, 
our microcontroller Arduino is receiving a signal from the IR sensor. So this is how your TV remote or any remote works because your remote has an IR transmitter it can boost or it can send a signal on a, or an infrared signal and whatever device that you're trying to control with your remote will have an IR sensor and it will send the signal to the con to the controlling device or whatever device that you're trying to control and every signal is associated with one function so for example play and plow, pause you know what happens you know what happens when you increase the value increase the volume or decrease the volume so whenever you click these your IR sensor would work okay with this we complete 3.4 so this is where you learn about infrared sensors and in the next project you'll be working with ultrasonic sensor and motion detection with that you complete chapter 3 ultrasonic sensor and motion detection are really useful they are used in so many different applications so I want you guys to first complete 3.3 and 3.4 then we'll start working on 3.5 and 3.6 most likely I'll do 3.5 and 3.6 together as one video so you guys can complete both of them at a stretch thank you see you in the next video guys